Hello, and welcome to the Open Textbook Network's Data Dashboard. In this fourth video, I'm going to show you how to use the dashboard for monitoring and managing your workshop after it's been held, as well as tracking your programmatic data so that you can measure and report impact. Here we are back in the dashboard. Today, we're going to look at Open Textbook Workshop, so I'm going to go ahead and click on View Data. You'll note at the top of the page, it tells you the status of your workshop. This one is currently in review collection. If I click on the timeline, I get more detailed information about where we are in the workshop, including when the review invitation was sent, what the deadline is, when the first reminder is going out, and so on. There's also additional information about my workshop here and the opportunity to change the review deadline for everyone who attended. Now you'll note for this workshop, I had two attendees. If there had been more, I still have the opportunity to add them by clicking on the Add Faculty button. When I do that, they will be integrated into the same communication schedule as everyone else who attended the workshop. But in this case, I just had two attendees and I'd like to take a closer look at them now. As you can see, John has written one review. If I click on the yellow triangle, I can see what book he reviewed, in this case, Greek and Latin Roots Part 1. If I were to click on this, I could go ahead and read the review. I also have the opportunity to go ahead and mark John as paid. Uh, if I had a larger workshop, I could also do this in bulk. And then finally, I have the opportunity to invite John to review another book. Let's say I have some additional grant funding, I had a small workshop, I could go ahead and do that by clicking here. Now, in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and mark John as paid. And the stipend status has been updated. You can tell that from the green bar at the top, as well as the green check that now appears in the column. Okay, so let's look at our other attendee, and that's Dave. I'm going to click on this gray eye. It tells me the review deadline, the invitation email date sent, as well as the fact that the reminder email has not yet been sent. Now, let's say that I've heard from Dave and he would like to, to write a review, however, he needs a little bit more time. I can change the deadline just for Dave and no one else in the workshop by doing what I just did. Uh, now, let's say that I hear from Dave and he says, I cannot find the invitation email, I lost it, I could go ahead and resend that invitation from here as well. There's also an opportunity to copy the review URL and the survey URL. I'm going to show you now what those forms look like. This is the textbook review form. You can see that it's been auto-populated for David Ernst. This is, of course, unique to every faculty. And when Dave gets to the bottom of the form, he will click Create Textbook Review, and that will be instantaneous. It will be immediately posted to the book in the Open Textbook Library. Now I'm going to show you the survey form. This is what faculty receive after they have uh, submitted a review or the review deadline has passed. It is a short and sweet survey about their plans to adopt. So again, those two forms are available at the URL buttons here. Now, finally, I would like you to note that there is a place where you can download all of the data that you see here. This is going to give you a CSV report, which will include which faculty wrote a review, what they indicated on their survey about their plans to adopt, as well as some other detailed information. We hope that you can use this report to show the impact of your open textbook workshops. So there you have it. Thank you for moving open education forward in your higher education community by hosting open textbook workshops.